This week in anime number 25, it is finale time for the remainder of the shows that we've been watching the last several weeks. So now it is for anime, my thoughts. Let's get started. Cross Angie. In the final episode of Cross Angie, Angie is taken by Embryo to the original Arizonal, which now lies in between worlds, just one big old island drifting through space and time. Embryo tries yet again to force Angie under his control by any means necessary. Meanwhile, back on Earth, Electra passes on, but before she leaves, she tells the crew about her run-in with Embryo and finally shows Salia some love that she's been longing for this entire series. Aura the Dragon reveals Embryo's true location and slows down the merger to give Tusk, Salako, Hilda, and Salia time to defeat him once and for all to end the destruction of their worlds. They reach just in time to see Embryo still trying to dominate Angie and get in between her legs, but Tusk swoops in and gets a face full of kitty as a reward. That's my boy. Together, they defeat Embryo, but not before Tusk took several bullets like a G. The anime ends with the crew starting new lives in the world of dragons, leaving the former mana users to fend for themselves. A fitting end to a good anime. Log Horizon is the finale of Log Horizon's second season. Shiro puts his plan into action and leads the raid team straight through the Calling Fortress to the raid boss Talakhtan. The fight was awesome as the boss had three forms with different attacks so the teams had to switch their strategies quickly and often to stay alive. Shiro was able to keep up with Talakhtan's attacks and found a way to bring him down. Once they reached the radio, Shiro and the others were shocked to hear who was on the other end. It was Konami who was playing with the radio she found on the China server. We found out Krusty is with her and has Mrs. Misa's arm as well. We end with Shiro stating that he's going to find a way to connect the two worlds. Whether he means connecting the two servers, Japan and China, or something else, I'm not exactly sure. But I guess we'll have to wait till the next season to figure out what exactly he means and if they're ever going to actually get home. Death Parade In the finale of Death Parade, they can finally request Chiyuki's memories and takes her down to the lowest level of Queen Deckham to judge her. Shiyuki finds herself back in the real world and is able to see life currently as her mother struggles to live on without her. Deckham gives her an ultimatum. If she pushes the button, she can return to the real world and her death will be forgotten. However, in exchange for that, another life will be taken. And she doesn't know who, just another random life. It could be someone from her family or it could be someone she doesn't know. Meanwhile, Nona and Oculus have a heart-to-heart -heart about the pros and cons of an arbiter having human emotions. Long story short, they agree to disagree, as I pretty much thought they would. Down below, Chiyuki refuses to push the button due to everything she's witnessed up until now from all the other previous cases in the series, and Deckham experiences true sadness for the first time, breaking the illusion he set up. After some tears, Deckham finally judges Chiyuki, and for the first time, we see him smile. Death Parade kept me on the edge of my seat trying to figure out why and how each player was going to die and how they knew each other. Of all, all the anime that started up in 2014, this was among the best this season. Sinkin Tizakai No World Break if you guys haven't noticed, I haven't talked about this anime in a little while, but I have been typing about it in the previous This Week in Animes on the website. In the finale of Sinking to Sky No World Break, the ancient dragon is pounding away at the academy and the city. The sky is lit with fire and smoke. It doesn't take long for Shizuno to notice that the dragon is toying with them and waiting for something or someone. It turns out the dragon was waiting for Moroha just so he can force him to watch him kill his loved ones yet again as he did in his past lives. Once the dragon turned both Shizunu and Sasuke into stone, Moroha went berserk. He started to engrave a spell in the dragon's back that was powerful enough to not only destroy the dragon, but the city below as well. Shizunu and Sasuke returned as their past selves and stopped Moroha from executing the forbidden spell. Moroha then combined both his past lives into one body, gaining new armor and power, which he used to destroy the ancient dragon. 
We end with everyone partying in front of the demolished academy. You know, as action-packed as this series is, I've never found it better than just decent and a good time waster when there's nothing better to watch. And that is pretty much my final thoughts of Sinkin Tizakai No World Break. That's it, you've made it to the end once again of yet another This Week in Anime. Thank you for watching and I hope you did enjoy. Please don't forget to check out the website for much more in-depth articles on all the anime I talked about and a few more anime that I watched this past week. And after you finish doing that, you can come and chat with me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm also on other social media websites as well. All those links are down in the description box below. If you're looking for tech, tech will be returning once again uh, coming into the next week. I've just been so busy that the only thing I've had time to do uh, right now was this week in anime. And I barely had time to do that considering that this episode is going up uh, probably on a Wednesday. Maybe on a Tuesday. We'll see. But yeah, things have been pretty busy. But don't worry, we'll be getting back to our regular schedules pretty soon. So until the next video, you guys have a good one. I'll see you. Bye. ということで本日は遅ればせながらハイムラ君の帰還を祝って終身にかけんだ。<笑><笑>